Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This simple and short video is all about how to use 5M in GTA 5 right in 2025. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. So first of all in the basic step, head over to your browser and open this 5M website. Go ahead, click on the option download client and agree the terms and conditions to get the download link of the 5M intro system. Once you get this download link, go ahead and download it. Once the 5M is downloaded, click on the downloaded link to launch the 5M and this will install the 5M application into your system. So wait for it to completely install it into your system. The file size is of around 200 MB. Once the download is completed, here most of the users are not able to use 5M because of a simple misunderstanding. At this point of time, when this particular folder is open, you need to provide the directory of your GTA 5. Now to find the directory, if you are using Epic Games, launch the Epic Games launcher into your system and in the Epic Games launcher, go to the library to open the installed files into your system. Then click on this three dot icon and choose option manage and then click on this folder icon to open the installation directory of the GTA 5. Now if you are using Steam, go ahead, launch the Steam. In Steam again, go to the library, right click on your game and choose option properties. Now here, click on this installed files and here click on the option browse to open the game directory. Now I hope you able to open the game directory. At my end, the game is installed in F drive and here is game directory, GTA 5. Now here, many users are not able to browse the directory. Why? Because they are opening the directory of the GTA 5 enhanced version. Again, I'm telling you, this 5M application or 5M will only works as of today, only with GTA 5 legacy version, not with enhanced. However, if you want to use the enhanced version, again, right over here, here is the official handle of the 5M. And you can see, they are currently working on it to be a part of GTA 5 enhanced version. So you keep on checking their Twitter handle about the release of 5M for GTA 5 enhanced version. In case of legacy, again, make sure you open the GTA 5 legacy mode folder only. And to make sure you have opened this correct folder, the name of the folder must be GTA 5 Auto 5. If by mistake you have opened the enhanced folder, the folder would look like this, GTA Auto 5 Enhance. So make sure you must open only GTA 5 Auto folder. Now click on this address bar, right click and choose the option copy to copy the path of the folder. Now right in this directory, again click on this address bar, delete whatever is written over here and press the Ctrl plus V key and hit the enter key to open the game directory. Now here, scroll to the bottom and you will find GTA 5 file. Select it and click on the option. This will go ahead and directly link your GTA 5 with 5M. Wait for it to update. The update is of around like 500 or 600 MB. So wait for it to finish completing the updates by linking your 5M as well as your GTA 5 account. Now here is a notification, it is asking you to update the data. So simply click on the yes button to update the data. Now once the update is completed, go ahead and log in using your Rockstar Games Launcher email ID and password and once you are signed in, your 5M will be linked with the Rockstar Games Launcher and you will be able to use the 5M right into the GTA 5 Legacy Edition. So as of now, this is all about it friends, if this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends, thank you for watching.